Like, what's what do you think is the average or, or, or the minimum amount of money somebody got to be making to for you to give them a chance? Um, I would say like you know, two hundred, three hundred around there, and that's being modest. Like two hundred thousand like, dollars. Yeah, that's little, right? Well, I'm not talking about for me. I'm just talking about where I was at. Like, like, all right, hold on. Why why does a nigga need $200,000 to get, get with you? Be honest. Real talk. I feel like that's enough. My lifestyle It's about a lifestyle. You know what I mean? I live a certain lifestyle, a lifestyle that I could provide for myself, by myself. And so it's like, if I have a man, my lifestyle got to be double or triple that. Or why am I with this person if I could just provide this lifestyle by myself? Everybody listen up. Now, before we get into the video, I want to let y'all know that I finally, finally have made a Discord server, you feel me? Um, it's going to have all types of stuff on there, you feel me? I've got stuff for y'all to submit videos for me to react to. It's going to have memes, music, um, you know, all types of crazy stuff, you feel me? It's going down. So I'm going to have a link in my description, and I'll put it in the comment section because I know some of y'all don't even check the description anyway, you feel me? But go ahead and join the Discord server, you feel me? And that's all I got for y'all. Let's get into the video. Yo, 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 Pierre, you wanna come out? Oh, okay. Two hundred thousand. Oh, okay. Two hundred thousand to to get a chance with you. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. So what you're saying is, you, <laughs> and not just you, a bunch of influencer women, right? Women that's influencers do this all the time. What you're saying is, you want to take what's in our pockets. You want to objectify a man by his pockets. Because let's keep it real, that's exactly what she's doing. She's saying the more money you have, the more of a chance you have. The more money you have, the more attractive you are to her. Okay, cool. So you want to go ahead and objectify a man for what they have in their wallets. But as soon as I say, you better be under 180 pounds, it's a problem. You can sit up here and say, oh, you got to have this much money. But if I say, okay... You better be in shape. You better have X, Y, Z. Now, I'm the issue. Now, I get canceled. Now, it's a problem when I say a woman better meet up to my expectations. Now, it's a problem when I say the woman better be feminine. But you want to sit up here and say 200K. Now, so, so, so you want to objectify us to what's in our pockets and our wallets, but then when we say we just want to smash, we objectify, we looking at your body, right? Now it's a problem. Now we are objectifying women. You're objectifying women. You're just looking at us as, as you just want to, you just want to smash. Now, oh, 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 that's a problem, but this isn't a problem. Huh? Huh? That doesn't make any sense to me. That makes zero sense. But see, that's just how it is. Women don't want to take accountability. Y'all lack taking accountability. How can you sit up here and say, don't objectify us for our bodies when all you do is work on your, is get work done on your body. All you do is go to Dr. Miami and get that same BBL surgery that every single woman has, the same 2K player built. How can you sit up here and say, don't objectify our body, but you post thirst traps? How can you sit up here and say, don't objectify our body, but you go outside with, you you are you ain't even wearing shirts no more. Y'all is wearing strings, bro. Y'all are wearing strings, see-through dresses. But we not supposed to objectify our body. We not supposed to look because you, oh, you dressing for yourself, right? Right? We, 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 we not supposed to look. You're not doing that for attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. We supposed to respect you. Okay. Okay, but then when, when, when. You say, <laughs> but then you want to objectify men by saying, oh, yeah, 200K just to have a chance with me. If you have less than this amount of money, oh, you can't. Is that not the same thing? Are you not objectifying a man by what he has in his wallet? Now, you are now leveling the worth of a man based off of the money that he has in his wallet. Yet, when we look at your body, now it's a problem. Y'all lack taking accountability. You lack taking accountability. And the problem is there's too many women like this out there. There's too many female influencers out there like this that say, oh, you got to have 200K to get a chance with me. 
whole time. Let me tell you something about this woman. You know damn well, cause she said, she said, oh, it's because I live this certain lifestyle. You know damn well she ain't living that lifestyle. You know why? Because look at the social media outlet she's on. She's on DJ Academic's Instagram page. That's the only reason anybody knows about her. She does not have her own thing going for her. She's not no entrepreneur, no nothing. She got to wherever she is and I don't even know who she is. So clearly she ain't doing that well, but she got whatever lifestyle she living by manipulating guys. And by manipulating guys that got money, that's balling. Through objectification, she's manipulated these dudes to get the money, uh, to get the money out of these athletes, entertainers, rappers. They giving her this money, and that's a, that's another big problem, really. These rappers, entertainers, whatever, they be singing on their songs. Oh, I get with the baddest, I get with the baddest women, I get the baddest females, bro. You paying two hundred racks for the coochie? You paying money. She don't really rock with you. She just manipulated you out of so. She scammed you, bro. You got scammed. Someone gonna be talking about, oh, I smashed this girl from 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 Calabasas, bro. You paid her a hundred thousand dollars, bro. You got scammed out your money, bro. You got scammed out your money. That's what these women are doing. They are pimping out. You got. They are pimping dudes out. They are pimping dudes out. Pimping them out. And it's wild to me, bro, because guys are actually giving up the money for this. You giving up the money for the coochie, bro, you can get that anywhere. You can get that anywhere. But that's just the way the world works, right? Society allows women or, or, or says that women should be at the very top of the food chain. Society allows women to not take accountability for their own actions. A society allows women to tell men, you can't objectify us, you can't do this. But then women want to say, you got to have $200,000 to be with me. And it's not even just that. It's the fact that they have nothing to back that up. Look at her. First of all, she ain't super attractive. First of all. Second of all, what has she done to deserve $200,000? What is she really worth? That's the difference between a man and a woman. An alpha male, an alpha man can look in the mirror and say, I'm worth this. I'm, this is my value. I could look in the mirror right now and I could tell you, my, I, hey, hey, look, I could tell you I'm good at this, this, and this. This is my current value. I'm not good at this, this, and this, whatever. A woman can't do that because she wants to look in the mirror and cover up all her flaws. That's why they wear makeup because they're insecure. They want to cover all that up and they don't want to take accountability for it. They don't want to take accountability for it. They want a man to carry them through life. They want a man to carry them through life, fellas. And y'all keep falling for it. You keep falling for it. These type of women. You keep falling for the woman that, that is low value, yet claims that you need to have this amount of money. And then when, you, when, when someone speaks up and says something about it, now you're insecure. Oh, this, this, this. You hate blah, blah, blah. No, I'm just telling the truth. No, I'm just telling the truth. But you stuck in a cycle. You are stuck in a cycle of getting with these types of women. And you know it's becoming more and more common. You know why? Because these same type of influencer women, these women, the Cardi B's, all them, the city girls, that's what they're preaching. Bro, Card okay, let me go down the list. Who was Cardi B before um um uh what's her name? Offset. Who was Cardi B really before Offset? Yeah, she had the music or whatever, but who 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 y'all think okay, let's be real. Who y'all think got her in the industry? Who do y'all really think got her in the industry? Yeah, she may have been on some reality TV show, but let's keep it all the way real, bro. She didn't really get huge until she got with offset. Let's keep it real. Look at Sweetie with Quavo, same situation. Look at Ruby Rose, who's now on XXL. She has ran through every single rapper and made a living off of that. What do you think that is telling young women? That is telling young women that are average, that have nothing to offer, that, hey, your body is enough. You can scam these dudes out their money because you got a box, because you got body. And then if you don't got body, oh, you know, just... All you got to do is get with a couple of dudes that's desperate and they get to make enough money off of them to go get you a BBL surgery. Now you can get... That's what they telling them. 
That's what they're telling them. Average women that have absolutely nothing to offer are now expecting the most from you. Uh, women are no longer women are no longer holding up their end of the deal. See, they sit here and they claim, we want 50-50 in a relationship. We want 50-50, 50-50, 50-50, But what is she really bringing to the table? Realistically, what is a modern woman bringing to the table? Absolutely nothing. She's bringing nothing to the table. Yet she thinks she's bringing everything to the table because that's what these influencers are telling her. Influencers are telling women, all you have to do is exist. Yeah, it's just, it's not in here, bro. And y'all keep falling for it because you're beta. You are beta. You, the average man, are beta. And you keep falling for these women that continue, continue to exaggerate their worth. Continue to manipulate men. You keep falling for them and you keep trying to wipe them up. And that's your problem. You need to change that. Because women are never going to change. It's only going to get worse, fellas. It's only going to get worse. Women are not going to change. They're going to continue to manipulate guys for their money. They're going to continue to scam them out their money. They're going to continue to make whole livings and lifestyles off of men. Even though they don't deserve it. This is going to continue to happen. Nothing's going to change, fellas. So the only thing that you can do is change yourself. What does Stephens Cole say? He says this all the time. You can either make a change or you can complain and stay the same. What you gonna do? Complain and stay the same? Or you gonna make the change? Shout out to see, 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 bro. And here's the thing, too. Understand that when you look up to your favorite influencers as males, right? I'm talking, you can even go to Michael B. Jordan. Fellas, let's talk about it. Michael B. Jordan. He is a heterosexual sex symbol. He is Michael B. Jordan, bro. He's an actor. One of the supreme... Everyone wants Michael B. Jordan in their movie. But he settles for Lori Harvey. Why? Why get with Lori Harvey? He settles for a woman that has been ran through. He settles for somebody that has been used up. Why? Why? Why is that? Because up here, let's keep it real. He's not, maybe he's not that alpha. Maybe he's not that guy. Maybe he's not. You got to look past the facade. And I know that sounds crazy to you. Oh, how could you say that about Michael B. Jordan? But let, fellas, let's be real. All your favorite rappers and industry dudes, bro, they don't, they, they, they don't, they're not alpha, bro. They're weak. They're weak. But y'all keep falling for it, dog. Y'all keep giving value to these women that don't deserve it, bro. Y'all, bro, a woman that's literally like a two or a three out of ten, bro, could literally go on Tinder and, 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 and have a sugar daddy take care of her entire life, bro. Her entire life, bro. I know women that have been contacted by guys that are sugar daddies that will take care of them their entire lives, bro. Women got it easy. And they keep scamming y'all out your money. Become high value today. Watch the rest of my videos. You need it. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. Love y'all. I'm out of here, dog. Peace.